Hey guys and gals, this is Sonic Arrow taking a look at the KV-1S. I've decided to take it out. Uh, well, actually I decided to repurchase it because I never actually got it in the first place. And let's see what this thing can do in a Tier 5 match since it's been moved down from Tier 6. I have played the KV-85 before, but the KV-1S is not one that uh, I ever took a look at. So this thing is equipped with an 85mm cannon, takes about 4.7 seconds to reload, and let's see what I can shoot at. Gun depression of course is not very good. We've got some targets, those two tanks are not exactly great at spotting from range, so I'm going to take advantage of that. This uh, KV-1S is also very bad at spotting from range, but I do have a good cannon. Oh, can I get a shot? <laughs> Just a tracking shot, unfortunately. Okay, normally in a, in a higher tier battle, you don't want to be sitting out here like this. You will be spotted immediately. And I'm taking the chance here, thinking that at lower tiers, they probably don't have the view range to uh, reach across from that particular hill. You'd have to go down and up again to get any spots off. So I'm going to sit over here for a little bit. Uh, I'm the only one here at the moment. And let's see what the team does. They, oh, they spot a VK3001H. I'm thinking about moving forward. Here we go. Moving forward, see if I can get some shots in on the VK. But making sure that there is nothing coming out in front of me. Okay, so let's see the gun depression of this vehicle. Good thing there's a little bit of a decline in the slope right here, and I can get some shots in on the VK who is crossing uh, unopposed. Alright, well, time to chew him apart. He's really caught in the open. There's no way he can escape from me right now. And there we go, the whole of that VK is taking out. And now I'm really worried about what's coming up over here to my right, around this mountain. Oh, and it's a couple of, uh, well, I suppose they're all lower tier tanks. I am top tier. So this is uh, really just a bunch of bullying in the KV-1S. 120 millimeters of penetration, I believe, 160 damage. So this thing is pretty good for the lower tiers anyway. Haven't really gotten into any of the higher tier battles just yet. But uh, one interesting thing is this thing does get a 122mm howitzer that receives... It's basically the same as the 105mm howitzers on the M4 Sherman and the Panzer IV. Um, but there is one key difference: uh, the premium rounds on the, this 122 millimeter howitzer gets receives 144 millimeter, uh, 140 millimeters of penetration. And uh, well, that's a bit weird, I think. They did nerf the premium penetrations of the 105 millimeter howitzers to 101 from 150. And now they've given this 122, well I'm not using it, but they've given the 122 for the KV-1S 140 millimeters of premium penetration, so we'll see about that. I am on 5 kills, so I'm hoping that one of the artillery is going to back up. Uh, that might have been it right there, but the artillery tracked that one. And I get this artillery in its place, so that was a pretty good high caliber top gun, first class, only 5,000. WN8, oh, that's not what I want to look at, uh, 913 points of experience, there we go, 1,626 points of damage done to the enemy, 14 shots fired, 13 penetrated, all of my shots hit their target, and 33,600 credits earned with a premium account, non-premium, 21,900, and uh, that was pretty fun. Um, I don't think there is really anything 
too bad about the KV-1S. I suppose the gun depression is very poor. But uh, this 85mm cannon fires incredibly fast. And it can probably compete with some of the tier 6s, do a lot of damage when you're fighting against them. Tier 7s you'll have a lot more problems with because of their armor. So that's what I think about the KV-1S so far. I might think about doing a whole new review on it, but that will be in a while. I'm not going to be playing this tank constantly. So thanks for watching. Please press that like button and leave some comments. I'll see you in future videos.